What's happening, Night Riders? So, I know it's been like, what, a couple of days, I think, but I am back for some more Red vs. Blue, and this is episode 52 entitled Have We Met? Um, now, based off the title, you know what? I, I can't, I can't even with Red vs. Blue because they are on like some next level shit, <laughs> and I, I honestly don't know what to fucking expect. I really, really don't. Um, yeah, so let's just jump straight into this. And uh, let's see what other troubles they get into. Let's go. I'll be waiting. Church, I thought you left with Griff. Back already? I hate to tell you this, Sheila, but none of us are coming back. Is there any way I can take you with me? Maybe transfer your programming to a disc or something like that? No, sorry, but I'm hardwired into this equipment. That's what happens when you're built by the lowest bidder. Yeah, tell me about it. Sorry, There's Sheila. one more thing you can do for me before I say goodbye. It's the last thing I can do to hopefully set all this stuff right. What is it? Okay, here's what I need you to do. I need you to get up here. I need you to wait on the dude looking away. All right. You got it. What? Thanks, Sheila. And, uh... I want to know. Sorry that I blamed you for killing me all this time. That's okay. I'm sorry I enjoyed blowing you up so much. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it was necessary to tell me that. Anyway, I guess this is goodbye, Sheila. Well, maybe I should shut down now. Save a little power. Oh, she sounds so sad. Oh, yes, dear Tex. She sounds After so sad. I'll your little friend Tucker. I'll be taking care of her as well. When I get out of here. But you won't. Everyone here is dead now. No one even knows where you are. So I suppose now you'll just have to starve to death. <laughs> oh man, there is no way that Griff can disarm that bomb. I better let him out of there and then go find Tex. She can shut him Please off. don't release prisoners, thanks, management. Alright, here it goes. You open the doors? That wasn't scary at all. What? I didn't do that. Somebody on the outside must have done it. Alright, let's go. Freedom! It smells so sweet! Let's go rob a liquor <laughs> Can't you look in your heart and see that maybe if we do this right, that red and blue could work together? Maybe we could end this crazy war. Wouldn't that be great? Come on, guys, let's live the dream. I like the way it was in now. <laughs> So that's when the explosion happened, which was crazy. See you in a few hundred years. Computer, you've got to send me back. Two blood goats. 
No, 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 not the blood gold. It's a sidewinder. Man, I totally screwed everything up. Oh. Well, I didn't keep the bomb from going off, so I just got blasted back here. Yeah, me too. Wow. Let me just put it this way, pal. Your next plan goes about as well as the first one does. Oh my god. Are you, are you fucking serious? went on the other oh, side. No.
Not that. All of my static files of Matrix is in the web scene. The computer can talk? The computer's name is Gary? <laughs> yeah, thanks for asking. Listen, would you do me a favor? Could you shut off the bomb, please? No problem. Wow, just like that. church is back so that's why he was the last church because he finally figured out what to do and he showed up on the proper side when the bomb went off so he popped up in the future with everybody else gotcha and literally literally just asked the machine to turn off the bomb <laughs> oh man that was funny that was funny okay um, I got I got nothing. <laughs> I really got nothing. Like, I, I I like how they got church to the future because I was dying to know how they were gonna do it, and literally just to avoid all the shit, he could have just waited for that moment and just popped up on the proper side instead of trying to fix everything. But, you know, seeing the fact, if, if he would have did that, then he wouldn't have learned his lesson. So, the lesson was very valuable. <laughs> now, writers, post your comments down below. Let me know what you thought about this episode of Red vs. Blue. Spoiler-free comments, of course. And, yeah. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this journey for Red vs. Blue. I know it's going to take forever. But just sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride as we go through Red vs. Blue together. Alright, y'all. Hopefully you guys enjoy this, and until next time, ride or die, not riders. We out. <laughs>